we welcome everyone tonight to our first round of all masks in a couple of months. And to all the folks joining us on the live stream, we are very welcome here. We pray that the presence of Jesus Christ and the power, the healing power of this Lord will penetrate the airways and grant you wherever you are as you're watching. We don't have song sheets, but everyone will know everything we're singing because it is our day's birthday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves this evening to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. And on Jesus Christ. 
Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you to your servants we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that on the feast of the nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem Ephrathath, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel." He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord, his God. And they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I know there's only a few of us here and many watching at home. I think the ones at home might have been louder the first time around, but that's okay. It is good to see you all. It's good to have you back. Welcome back to St. Augustine's. Welcome back to our Catholic Young Adult Mass of Northern Westchester. We're blessed to have you here. Quick introduction before I get into the homily this evening. We are blessed to have a new priest joining the team this year. As many of you remember from our young adult masses, Father Wilson was the I kind, of, kind of partner in crime. He and I would run these masses together and organize them. Father Wilson is transferred to Dutchess County. We wish him all the best in his new assignment, but we're blessed to have for his first time, hope please God for a few years, Father Ryan Muldoon, who was ordained last year to the priesthood and is now the new parochial vicar at St. Patrick's in Yorktown. So Father Muldoon, welcome. Welcome to St. Augustine's. Welcome to the Young Adult Community. <laughs> what a night to come back to Mass, to come back and to begin to gather our communities together again. This night that we celebrate the birthday of Mary really only two other people that we celebrate the birthdays of. Jesus, of course, and John the Baptist. Those are the three. Mary, our Lord Jesus, and John the Baptist. Why is Mary's birth so important? Well, the date makes sense because December the 8th is the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, so that would make sense nine months after that. Mary would become, would come unto her, she'd be born. But what is so important about her birthday? Well, think about it for a minute. What did Mary do? Who was Mary? Mary was the loved one, the beloved one. From the very beginning, God knew exactly what he wanted to do with Mary exactly what he wanted to do. And her yes was just a confirmation of that. Her yes gave us the gospel. Her yes gave us the model by which you and I are called to say yes to the Lord. Because from the minute that we were conceived, just as with Mary, everything is planned but it is our will to follow that plan. It is our will to follow that plan. We have to want to. And we have to put all of our fears and anxieties and trepidations, whatever it may be, put it aside and say yes. These last few months, 
for all of us in multiple ways have been trying. Many of us may not have been working during that time. Many of us were not able to see our family and our friends for extended periods of time. God forbid anyone know somebody who got sick from it or passed away from the coronavirus. It was a time in which we were pulled away and we were unsure of what the path was to be. But tonight we come back, tonight we follow the example of the one whose birth we celebrate and we turn to our Lord and we say yes. The path that is placed before us as young adults of the Hudson Valley, we celebrate that tonight. And we say, just as Our Lady said yes to you, O Lord, we say yes to you now. We reaffirm our yes with you again tonight. But that's great as a community. This Mass is not just for that. This Mass is for you as an individual to take that yes a step further. Imagine we lived in a world, in a church, where no did not exist. Imagine we lived in a world or in a church where everyone said yes to the will of God. What type of a church could we have? Imagine that. Let that thought swirl in your mind as you prepare to receive our Lord in the Eucharist, those who are watching us live stream tonight as you make spiritual communion at home. Let that thought sit in your mind. Imagine everyone in the church, everyone on earth said yes to the will of God. What type of a church could we have? What type of church could we dream? Tonight, you and I have the possibility to make that dream, because it is a beautiful one, become anything but a dream. Tonight, you and I turn the Lord's will into reality, the way Mary did. Tonight, as we receive Jesus in this Eucharist, let your yes mean yes. Resolve to step forward in faith even stronger than you already have. And if we need a model in those moments where we get weak, it happens, we're human. We turn to the one whose birth we celebrate. We beg her to intercede for us, to pray for us, to love us, for she is our mother. And she always points us to her son. And when we go in the path of our mother, can't go wrong because Mama knows all our dreams. And Mama wants us to make those dreams a reality. Let's make that resolve tonight as we begin again this new year. Let's follow the path of the one who set it for us. Mary said yes. Can we? O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Please stand for the prayer of the faithful. The Lord desires joy for all his people and sees us in our needs. Tonight, let us bring our prayers and petitions before him. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all church leaders, that God may continue to conform them to himself, empowering them with a wisdom that is not their own. Let us pray to the Lord. 
For our elected and appointed leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are sorrowful, hungry, or cast out to the margins, may God provide hope and healing and relieve them of their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here this evening and those watching us on live stream tonight, the young adult community of Northern Westchester of the Hudson Valley, may the sacrament that we receive either spiritually or in person this night help us grow in holiness and goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, members of your own family, friends, and in particular as we approach the anniversary of September 11th, those who lost their lives on that day, may the Lord bring them to his everlasting joy through our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause for a moment now to add our own petitions and to pray for one another. For the intentions we hold within the silence of our own hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this day, we celebrate the Nativity of Our Lady. We bring our intentions to her, and we ask her to take them to the throne of her Son, as together we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Thank you. 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take flesh, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and in your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the nativity of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Lenni sunt ceria terra, gloria tua, O sana in excelsis, benedictus, cui venit in nomine Domini, O sana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. Annunciamus Domine, et Tuam Resurrectionem Confitemur, Donec Venias. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Augustine, St. Patrick, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your church exalt, O Lord, for you have renewed her with, her with these sacred mysteries, as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for the whole world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A brief announcement or two words of thanks to everyone who came together this evening to make this mass possible as always pauline and jeff for our music department mike for reading mark for serving a new person as part of our team this year audio visual and live stream that's greg deroma in the back to all of you for being here tonight for those who are watching us on live stream we look forward to welcoming you back here in the months ahead and of course to Father Ryan Muldoon for celebrating, hearing our confessions beforehand. There's one little thing I forgot to say about Father Muldoon before uh, in my introduction to him is that we actually really know each other quite well. And in my first assignment at St. Barnabas, I had seminarian Ryan Muldoon. 
So I was, I was preparing for Mass tonight, I realized that this is the first time I actually can celebrate Mass with you since you've been ordained. So it's an honor for me to have that privilege with you, my dear brother. And it's great to work with priests together, but it's also a blessing when you work with friends. So Ryan, pleasure to work with you on this team this year. So look forward to doing this. We call upon the Holy Spirit, who definitely had a very integral role in the life of the Blessed Virgin as we leave this place. So, the Lord be with you. And Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. To each of these I invite you to respond, amen. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the hearts of the Blessed Virgin and the apostles by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit, amen. May that wondrous flame that appeared above the Blessed Virgin and the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith. And by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God, His blessed Father. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. For those of you who are gathered here, we will have a social after the Mass. It will be outside. So if you go out the church, turn to your left, down the pathway towards the parish hall, you'll see a fire pit set up and some other wonderful things for us to kind of reconnect with everybody again. So look forward to seeing you out there in a few moments. God bless you. Sing, yeah,